A castle should have a reflection center. That's All what right. I think it yeah. should so be. You, yeah. So you call it a reflection center. So if you're watching this video, do you also want to call it a reflection center where after your tour and everything, you want to come and sit here, take a local food like Fufu, Banku, <laughs> Gary, uh, Sokis and everything. Echo, echo, echo city. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Today is... Uh, Friday, 16th of February, 2024. And I'm here in Elmina. Guess what I'm doing here? I brought a group of people, both uh, from the diaspora, here in Elmina Dungeon. Yes, they are here to learn the history of what happened to them. But if you look up there, you find this building up there. It's called Fort Jago. So Fort Jago, I would say that it is like, um, it has this history that tells you that those people who were there were the ones overlooking the sea. So if there's any enemy coming from somewhere, they are the ones to alert those people in the castle that, hey, there are these people coming out here, so you need to be on guard. So I came here with, um, you know, friends and families from the United States, from UK, from Canada. They came here to experience what really happened here at the castle. But whilst I was moving around, I saw this thing that I wanted to talk about. Now, what I want to talk about is I saw a restaurant here and this reminded me of something there's this man in Ghana who is trying to be the president of Ghana he's called Ken Ken Kennedy of Japan yes he was like if he's given the castles or the dungeons he will set up a food restaurant or he will set up a drinking bar but a drinking bar is not going to sell foreign drinks it's just only African so we have like apeteshi we have pito we have palm wine and all that. So I saw this and I was like, yo, let me come out of the castle here, Elmina Castle, and do a video to show you that there's a place I have found in the castle that I want you to know about. So let's go inside, meet the owner of the place, if we have him around, and talk more about the restaurant here. Hello, Hi. sorry. All right, so I just entered the Elmina Castle. Yeah. Okay, so anytime, at, at least when you go to Cape Coast Castle, you find that there are people who are selling. Now, let me be very honest with you. Aside people coming here to tour, the local people, they need to find a way to make some extra money. Uh, you find vendors selling foodstuffs. But when you come to the castle, we believe that we need to sell something that is historical. That is why, or that is like culturally inclined. That is why we have people selling these artifacts here at the Elmina Castle. So you could find uh, one of the stores here called, by his grace, uh, African Traditional Shop. So if you go in, you'll find that they have uh, bags made of uh, skin of animals, you have um, bags made of other materials, you have wristbands here. Oh, I found a dollar. Okay, I don't know what this dollar is doing here, but I think this is uh, uh, it's a wallet, so you can put your stuff. So the thing is that at the end of the day, we are not only promoting Africa. At least, if we have this integration of, I mean, promoting just a little bit of you know, where our brothers are. Then Africans will get one and say, now let me tell you what, like in a layman's position, as a layman in Ghana, not all of us are aware of certain things that is happening. So when we have our brothers and sisters coming in, I think this is the best time for them to, you know, just teach us, tell us how it is like to be out there in the West where our, our great grandparents were sent to. So like I said, uh, we have all these shops here uh, they sell everything, they sell everything beets. Look at this, this is so beautiful. After all the tour and everything, you might want to drink something. That is why I told you that I found a place I would really want to go to and check it out. So it is called the uh, Lemon Freedom Bar. So I've seen a brother here. Chairman, Hello. how are you doing? Good. All right, I'm good. So my name is Eko Simpson. I came here with some tourists to tour Elmina Castle. We've been to Cape Coast, Kakum National Park. We love it and all that. 
But when I was coming, I saw a signpost there. It said Freedom Bar. Freedom Bar. So I was like, let me come in and see if I can get to talk to either the manager or somebody who is in charge of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, glad to meet you. Yeah, glad to meet you too. Yeah, I see your videos all the time. You know? Oh, thank you very much. I didn't know people watch my videos like yeah. that. So uh, thank you very much for being on my channel. Yeah, thank you. All right, Stay all right, cool. all right, all right. Yeah. So um, first of all, what's your name and are you an indigen of Elmina? Uh, yes, uh, my name is uh, Kofi Emiza. So I'm a proud indigen of Elmina. Uh, my mom is from Cape Coast. Uh, oh, your mom is from Cape Coast. So, so then okay, I so then, then, then we we'll we'll no, 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 no. <laughs> then, 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 listen. Yeah. You are a Cape Coaster. You're not yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so, we are not. Wait, we are not fight, trying to compare Elmina <laughs> and Cape Coast. But all right, let's go on. Yeah, so Kofi Emiza from Elmina, and then uh, yeah, this is my place. So all right, yeah. all right. Um, you know, people. I've, I've traveled to a lot of places and then when you go to most of the tourist sites just beside it maybe a few minutes walk or something they have a bar they have a restaurant where you can try the local cuisine of that area yeah. can we say that freedom bar is here to give tourists whether from the usa from the uk canada europe West Africa, even in Ghana, the local people, can I say that Freedom Bar is ready to, or is here to give such an experience to tourists? Yes, sure, sure. Uh, I think you know when you when you go to our menu, right? You know, we have a lot of uh, local foods like okay. uh, uh, that you can find in our menu, right? We don't just deal with the continental side okay. because we want tourists to actually experience the local okay. the local food right mm -hmm. because if you come to ghana you don't you don't experience the local food then you're not in ghana right right yeah so at freedom you know we have like varieties of local food you know we have like fufu mm -hmm. okay. we have like banco okay we have like uh, acheke 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 is not from ghana like the drinks you have I know club beers if you want to come to Ghana. Listen, <laughs> if you're in Ghana, you want to try anything like beer, you should try club beer. But I said, what else do you have with the drinks? With the drinks? Uh, with, is it, are you talking about local? Yeah, local. I want, yeah, we, listen, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting everything local. So, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. So we have, uh, aside from club, you know, which I love like the most, mm -hmm. right? I know promoting it, but uh, we have like uh, Star, we have like Guinness, we have... Uh, other stuff. I start from I start from these ones. We have like sobolo. Okay. Yeah, sobolo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and do. we have asana. No, really. Okay. No, you no, you no, need no, to no, bring no, that yeah. one because that one is nice for people who really don't want to take a cup. Uh, as the owner of Freedom Bar. Okay. I want to know, like, how did you come about this place? Oh, um, with this place, right? Uh, I think you know we we did inquiries, right? And then uh, we got it from like the museum and monument board right uh together with like the castle as well as the paramount chief of elmina because uh i think when you go for the tour and then you're done you know, you need to reflect right on the now uh, on the, the history that you know went to you know, actually experience in there so it's good to actually reflect on it so we just created this kind of reflection center which is like a restaurant right that uh after your tour you can come, you know, relax, you know, dine, or actually, you know, you know taking something before before you leave the castle. Okay. All right. So that is how come you guys came up with this idea. Yes. yes. All right. So, but you know, you you must have gone through a lot of authorities <laughs> to, to to just have this place. Yes. So who, who who are the people that you spoke to, that you went to, that agreed? That, okay. All right, let's go ahead, you know, take the place and do what you have to do. So far as you're promoting tourism yeah. and then promoting the culture of Ghana. Yeah, you know, we, we actually went to like the Museum of the Bambot, so they actually gave us the go ahead, right? And then uh, we went to like the Paramount Chief of Elmina, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He's the custodian, uh, he's like the biggest boss around. So he gave us like the authority to actually run the place. Oh, uh, aside from that, you know, I think you know it's 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 good to actually have you know uh, a reflection center down here to actually reflect on uh, what you actually went to experience here. 
I mean, the new development of Elmina Dungeon of Elmina Castle. Let me tell you what, there's been a new construction of a harbor. Yes, of a fishing harbor. So when the fishermen go to the sea, they can bring their, their, their fishes to wherever, keep them so cool, safe, so that they can sell to you or to me here in central region of Ghana. I am in Elmina Dungeon. Uh, there's a part of Elmina Castle or Dungeon that is not really, really active like that because uh, it, it, it used to be very active but not anymore. Listening to the, the storytellers and everything, where I am standing right now, here, used to be one of the places where a local Ghanaian woman set up uh, a restaurant in the 90s in the i mean it's been way before i was born all right i don't i don't i way before that i was born but prior to that um there's this school called uh, edna man senior high school this is where it started you know when you go to cape coast the first person to have lived and gone to uk or england to learn the missionary work was philip kwaku so when Philip Kwaku came back, he decided to set up a school in the Cape Coast Castle. Now at some point, he was given a land to set up a school. I am proud to say that that is the first school I ever attended in my life here on earth. So when it comes to Elmina Dungeon, there's a similar story, all right? Edna Man Senior High School also started from here before they got their own uh, land and they had to build over there. But like I said, when I came to Elmina Dungeon, I realized that this poster saying Freedom Bar. So I was like, let me go to Freedom Bar and check out what exactly is happening in Freedom Bar. I've already been here once. This is the second time and I'm here to talk to the manager of the place. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so how it's... did you come up by this place? Was it a communication between you and the, and the Ghana Museum Board, uh, yeah. or the Tourism Authority, or the local, the chief of uh, El you know, we, we actually talked to like, you know, the Ghana Museum and Board, you know, they are the ones who are actually taking care of the castle. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, as well as the Omina chief. Okay. As well as the Omina chief, and then uh, he actually gave us the permission to actually run this restaurant here. Uh, the, we are not the first people to mm -hmm. actually run the restaurant here. Okay. There have been a lot of people who came and actually ran the restaurant. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to go back to yeah, you know, what happened and all this stuff. But uh, even before 1978, before the school was here, which mm -hmm. is at Naman Secondary mm -hmm. School, mm -hmm. uh, there was a restaurant here before the school, which was run by Auntie Ifua. Okay. Right, he was selling banku and then oh. okro and all this stuff. You know, <laughs> wait, wait, just wait, a local wait, wait, food, wait, wait, you know. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> banku, have you tried banku before? If you're watching this video, let me know. Have you tried banku and okro yeah. with a uh, crab or wele? <laughs> you need to try it. Maybe you have to come here and yeah. freedom bar. Maybe just, just try it out if you want to. Anyway, all right, let's go on. Yeah, so, yeah, before then there was a restaurant here, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the school came in, they have little, there have been a lot of people who came to actually run the restaurant. Okay. And then, yeah, we just came in to actually, you know, take it over and then try to actually give good service to you know, the people who are coming for the talks here. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So, uh, from what you're saying, there has been previous events happening here. Yes. Like yes. a restaurant already. No like a school was formerly here before they moved yeah. another event so you are now managing this side yes let's say uh, this side of uh the castle yes yes yeah uh, i'm like the owner the owner i'm the owner right <laughs> yeah i'm the owner um yeah. okay I'm, I'm a young person but i'm trying to you know, do best out of what can come right so yeah but the thing is wait a lot of people think that in Ghana, in Africa, we don't have a lot of money to set up places like this. You you might have had a partner or oh, maybe an, an investor or anything. Sure, sure. I I do I do have a partner. Oh, okay. I do I do have a partner. Okay. Uh, but you know it's um it's a reflection center, right? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to be a young entrepreneur. Okay. Yeah. So okay. let's 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 reflect 
on what you know happened in the past mm -hmm. and let's take a positive feedback from it and right. let's grow from it right, right. i think uh, this will serve us well a castle should have a reflection center that's All what right. i think it yeah should be. so you yeah. so you call it a reflection center so if you're watching this video do you also want to call it a reflection center where after your tour and everything you want to come and sit here take a local food like fufu banku <laughs> gari uh soakings and everything how much do you think you've spent with your investor? You spent on putting this thing up? Um, <laughs> I don't know. This should be like a confidential stuff, but yeah. You know. But I want to know. <laughs> I want everybody to know. That, yeah, yeah. I, actually, we spent like let's say like seventy to seventy-five thousand uh, dollars on this project. When it comes to Ghana cities, it's going to be like uh, eight hundred thousand and over Ghana cities uh, that we've spent here. Um, I think let's say half of it will go to the ground works. Okay, the ground works. And then, uh, you know, because it's a historic area, we're mm -hmm. not supposed to touch You're okay. more of like, you know, these stuff. So yeah. we're like, you know, we just wanted to keep it simple. Okay. But just and even classic. and even that one, you spend that, that much? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. What? Yeah. I'm just trying to... You know, it's, 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 it's good in a way. It's, uh, it's not about like, you know, just having a reflection center, right? But uh, it's good when you are employing, you know. I, I always say that, you know, it's good to help someone with something that he can ever, he can never repay you, right? Okay. So we have workers here, we pay them and all this stuff. I think it's, you know, it helps the community as well, yeah. Okay, so economically, yeah. you are trying to add up to Ghana. Yeah, yeah. So I know we have a lot of unemployed youth working <laughs> around doing their own thing. Yeah. And you feel like how many how many people have you employed? If if only you want to say, <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's good, but you know I'm employing some. Okay, some, some, okay, yeah, all right, some. good. So yeah. before be, be, before you get hold of this place, there might be uh, some some authorities that have given you the go ahead to do it. Mm. I know you made mention of the chief of yeah. Elmina. What's his name again? Uh, it's uh, Nana Kundua. Nana Nana Kundua. So Nana Kundua is. Is, is in full acceptance of what is going yes, on here. Yes, and then okay. as well as the museum and the board, you know, uh, okay. they also know that we have a restaurant here. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so that means you don't have any fear to work here. No, 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 no. All right, then we're supposed to work together. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, I remember. You know, we, we, we normally do this, you know, just to, you know, uh, help the, the masses, right? Okay. Right, you know, actually, I employ some people here. I don't want to mention the number. Yeah. And I see, you know, there are some shops here that are um, actually selling stuff, you yeah. know, and then, uh, yeah, sometimes it also helps them, you know. Great. There's this, there's this uh, man, he's a politician, he's called Kennedy in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> he, he made mention that if he's giving any of the castles or the dungeons to manage, yeah. he will build a restaurant in there. Okay. Yes, okay. because he... Yeah, I don't have no head. Yeah. yeah, and then he will put a yacht or uh, a boat <laughs> on the sea yeah. to give people the experience of what our ancestors went through. Oh. I know it might not be so convenient with a lot oh. of people, but 2019, the year of return, yeah. I happened to sit or be in a ship from Cape Coast Castle to Elmina Castle. I've yeah, vomited yeah. a lot. And then, then Echo, Echo, I'm, I'm a fisherman, right? Oh, really? And I'm from this community, right? And then, uh -huh. uh, this, is, this is one of my plan, right? To actually bring up uh, something which will transport people from, okay. from the Elmina Fishing Harbor okay. to Cape Coast Castle, you okay. know, just to experience like, okay. these kind of, you know. Okay. It's, it's, it's good in a way that, you know, it makes people feel like, you know, okay, yeah. This is what they went through. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, that's let it. me don't don't let me cut you short, but yeah. I feel like your idea is good because you see, it's it's a process. If you are bringing an idea for people to, in a way, experience what their forefathers went through, yeah. it will give them a sense of reasoning differently. Yeah. The same way when it comes to the food, and yeah. you are here, you know, giving this opportunity for our brothers and sisters who want to come to the motherland and learn what happened in the castles and everything, then I think it is also a good idea that you have brought this freedom bar here to, you know, give these people something that they can have a feel of. Yeah. At least it's a culture. You know, you know I, I always tell, you know, uh, people from the diaspora and then our people like, you know, from all sort of race that uh, you come to Ghana and then you stay at the hotels, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think this is no Ghana. 
Mm -hmm. This is no Ghana. Mm -hmm. When you want to experience the culture of Ghana and yeah. all this stuff, you go down to the indigenous yes, people. Sir, yeah. You go down, you know, you see how they prepare the bankus. You mm -hmm. see, you go to like, you know, the slums. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, Feel you the talk vibe. to them. This is when you are being in Africa. Mm -hmm. But if you go and you are staying in a hotel, you know, and then uh, I think Lemon Freedom was to actually tell you to come here yeah, and, and try it. Yeah, and experience it, right. All right, yeah. all right. So uh, enough of the talking. I want this brother to take me around. Just show me around just this small place that they have inside. Yeah, sure. Uh, the Elmina dungeon, closer to the Elmina dungeon. So take me around. Yeah, sure. Uh, so you can come. So this is our restaurant, you know, this is like the main area, you know. Okay. So we got the space to actually uh, actually pull up a restaurant here. So, so this is our main restaurant. Uh, it's not all that spacious, but, you know, we have like uh, a bit of space up there. Okay. Uh, we have some local drinks, mm -hmm. a lot of local drinks. Yeah. Some foreign ones as well. Yeah. Um, we do coffee, we do cocktails, smoothies. Yeah. Okay. Just for you to relax after your tour. All right. Yeah. All right. Take okay. us to the top then. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm having a good time right now here, um, learning about, this This was like a short one, because like I said, I brought some tourists here and I had to run my way to find this awesome uh, restaurant here. Okay, so what else What else do you have up here? I hope so, this is like, uh, like the, the space. Open space. Yeah, the space that I'll call the space, you know, after your tour, so. We have like a small sitting area here. Mm -hmm. You know, some people want to experience the sun. So mm -hmm. we have like, you know, these kind of uh, umbrellas and then uh, some small seats. Okay. That when you come, you can actually come, relax after your tour, take some drinks. If mm -hmm. you want food, you can do that. If you want some local food, yeah. you can actually experience that one. Yeah. Great. Um, Great. Aside from that, you know, when you come to the top, you know, we have like this kind of beautiful view. Mm -hmm. So you see like the local canoes. We have like the Elmina Fishing Harbor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So these people are like fishing right now. Yeah, they are. No, they, they are getting right ready now. to fish. Yeah. No, some, you are you are you are a fisherman. Tell, <laughs> tell me, tell me you what know, is tell me what is going on. You know, here. some some of these fisher folks like they just came from like the sea. Okay. So some of them are mending their their nets. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them actually came with the fish, so they are about to sell it. Which okay. when you go to the other side, that is like the main place that they are actually. Dispatching these uh, um, fish okay. that they cut, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm having a good time over here with my brother, who is the manager of Freedom Bar here in Elmina. Look at that. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, now come closer. Let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I know that is the fishing harbor. Mm -hmm. Should I call it that way? Yeah, there's yeah. a fishing harbor. Okay. All right. Now, as a as a Ghanaian. As a younger brother like myself, yeah. um, the world is, you know, the economy in this world is like pretty hard. Yeah. And Ghana is not an exception. Mm -hmm. So as a younger brother who has been able to secure this place, tell me, what do you want from the government? What do you want from the individual people? What do you want from our brothers and sisters who are coming to Ghana? to experience beautiful Ghana. Now with the government, I ask government because you, mm -hmm. need, to, you need to push more with your project. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, what are you saying? Um, you know, um, I'm not a politician. I'll never be a politician, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about Ghana in general, but uh, I think the government, right? Mm -hmm. The government can actually help, okay. right? We have a very nice place here, which is like Freedom Bar and Restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. Right, inside the castle, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of local people around okay. who who can be empowered. Okay. Who can be empowered, right? Um, you know, myself, right? Mm -hmm. I'm employing people who are finishing university. Okay. <laughs> and really? here. Yeah. Yeah, because of it, you know, we pay them well. Okay. We pay them well. Okay. Right. So I think the government can do more. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like, you know, on this yeah, side or on that yeah, side, yeah, yeah, right. you know. Yeah. All of them, mm -hmm. they can do well, even with the castle itself, mm -hmm. right? 
the castle need maintenance. Okay. It needs a lot of stuff. Right? Okay. Okay. It needs to be done. Okay. This is what we have to focus on. This okay. is like history. Okay. We don't have to let it go yeah. just like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um I think my people of Elmina, you know, we are fisher folks, so Yeah, everything's about yeah, fishing. Yeah, we fishing, just fishing, tend fishing. to be like, you know, like yeah. that. But um I think they can do more. Okay. I don't want to be like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I understand. You know, yeah. like you know, yeah. sometimes <laughs> when you are young and you're trying to start yeah. something up, you don't want to um, you know, be with a certain kind of uh, government or political party or anything. Mm. So I understand when the brother is saying that he doesn't want to go into detail with a lot of things. <laughs> but hey, thank you very much for checking us out. Yeah. I came here to Elmina with my people to check it out. I'll be bringing you more from here. I've yeah. loved the place already. Uh, we have Freedom Bar and Restaurant. We have Fort Jago over there. We have another restaurant just right there. Yeah. And then the people are really, really happy fishing doing their thing. They are like, they want to say thank you to you for putting up this place. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, after yeah. fishing, they can come here and chill. Yeah, is it, that, no way, is it open to everybody or just No, no it's, it's open to everybody, you know, we, okay. yeah, locals, diaspora, okay. everyone. Everyone is, everyone. is, is, everyone is, is invited. Everyone is invited, you know. Okay. I know some of us uh, may have a different mentality towards uh, we having a restaurant in a, in a historic place like this. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we just want to promote what we want to promote. And it's nothing foreign than anything Ghanaian, anything culturally Ghanaian. So thank you very much for checking me out. If you happen to be in Elmina, make sure you check out Freedom Bar and Restaurant. Peace.